I begin to think, Wilson, said Sholmes, turning his head languidly in my direction, that there is more to this case than that which we have observed. Indeed, that there may be another part to this story that we are yet to discover. His eyes wandered, following the steam rising from his cup of herbal tea, leading him to the distant memory of that snowy evening. To the young lady collapsed on the pavement along Briar Road, and to the knife in her back. Lit in the soft glow of gas lamps, a most extraordinary scene had been set. And under the cover of a light fog, the curtain had risen silently on the insoluble mystery of our invisible killer. Your Chief Justice's office. Greetings, everybody. I'm Gunnels Three here, and welcome back to the Great Saints Attorney Chronicles. Last time we started, we finished Chapter Three, and now we're about to start the second to last chapter of um this part of the story. Um, <clears throat> this game's going by a little bit quickly, but I have a feeling it's going to get a little longer as we progress. Yes, uh, what that said. And, and, let's get going. Did you sleep last night, Mr. Naruto? No, not at all. I. It was an enormous. It was an enormous hotel, wasn't it? The rooms were so luxurious. I feel like we were staying in the plate in the palace. But the gaslight twinkle, gaslights twinkling, it was brighter than the day, than the day even in the middle of the night. Uh, what about the enormous bed? After my time on the SS Boya, I wasn't going to waste a single inch on that, of that space. Touche. I spent the entire night rolling from one side to the other, or mattress to the other. Oh yes, I really was the sort was the sort a sort of night you can really dream of normally. Except when I learned that we owed three pounds for the room, that dream would quickly turn into nightmare. Oops, sorry about that. The building was impressive and the entrance were so inviting. I just wondered without I just wandered in without thinking. In a lounge house in Japan, the sum of money you put the roof over your head for a whole year. I had to try, but I'm afraid I can't help myself oh, my tears when we pre were presented with the bill. Oof. Ugh. I am really sorry. Well, never mind. We must find some affordable lodging straight away, though. If we're not careful, our entire strip and will be used up in 10 days or less. Ugh. London is a scary place. <laughs> ah, good morning to you at this early. Or, ah, Mr. Chief Justice. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, well. Good morning to you, Lord Chief Justice. We came to report the outcome of the trial yesterday's brother. Susanna's son is amazing. He barely bad an eye in the presence of an opposing, um, or strong heart. Yes, I believe you had a very compulsive initial initiation in the, um, the courtroom process. Oh, yes, very well. Eye opening, thank you. And in accordance to your instruction, Mr. Longheart, Mr. Ardo performed his suiting to the end. Yes, I've already repeat, I already prayed, but I already been appraised on the event. Yes. You conduct a remarkable defense. You make a certain the test pass. Oh, I, no longer are you a student from the Empire of Japan. You may, I may claim the powerful lawyer. My country is delighted to welcome a young talent from the world. 
Eastern land. Um, uh, thank you so much. Very much. I am a lawyer now. Now, in view of your appointment, I have a fresh case in mind for you. I'd like you to take it at once. I trust you won't be a problem. Another case already? Nothing trains a lawyer better than a pra than practical experience. I'm sure I don't sense a destructive dis satisfaction, do I? It's just yesterday's trial ended unusual. I haven't quite came to terms with it. What come to terms was what? I mean, the man was clear. But more are you hoping for? There is something off. The culpability of this offense is, has not it has not at the present time been established by this court. Consequently, the jury will not be required to perform for proper judgment. Well, well it's, like, it's been a pleasure it has uh, as for you, my Kota, well, I couldn't have asked for a better defense. That laughter. I... Why is it with these cases, I'm starting to hate these guys? I just can't help but wonder. If Mr. McGill was really innocent. Mr. Mario, it's just that I never managed to assert the truth. To attain the truth. And then the trial ended. Well, you need the light of trouble you for a second longer. Sorry. What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? This man passed away. I mean, oh, he was in the he was in the thing. No, what? Mr. McGill is bad. I have ninety minutes, nineteen minutes until the next engagement. Time to. Uh, to, to, uh, enough to talk. He was in that fire. Mr. Gold's death. I don't understand. What happened? How could he be dead? After the trial concluded yesterday, there was a great commotion in the old Bailey. Your preferred similar to call the om omnibus omnibus had been wheeled into the courtroom. <coughs> yes, of course. That was the scene of the crime which Mr. McGill was accused of and accused of. Uh, precisely. Uh, which the bailiff attention reverted by some other matter. The omnibus was set in fire and flames. No. How could such a thing have happened? That's being investigated as we speak, but already the police have identified the course found inside a, the shard shell of the carriage set as Mr. Michael. That's awful. A man must have slipped inside while so it's the bailiff his attention elsewhere. elsewhere. That bailiff really needs to pay more attention. But how could that have happened? That's being investigated in that sort of speed. That thing back now. Immediately after the trial, Ms. McGlida did mention going back into the courtroom to look at the omnibus. Well, I must be tra making tracks now. Time for an inspect for the inspection. Sorry, what inspection? They're going to examine the omnibus again, so I told. I asked if I could be present my, for myself. I was thinking one of three things was going to happen. That's an inspection, an inspection of the omnibus. Not to my knowledge, I believe not. I don't believe Scott and Yard had, Yard had any attention of re-examining the character. But that would. And who was Mr. McClain talk, McGilded talking about? Never mind that now. The yard is making through a thorough investigation. The matter is no longer of your concerns. Leave it to the police. 
Yes, sir. I'll geld it. I have to agree. Here's a funny thing. Uh, when I saw that at the end, I was thinking of one of three people. Oh, um, uh, Mr. McGilda was not one of the people I was expecting to be in there. Um, the other being the criminal from the first case, and Mr. Frost, either Mr. Frost or, um, or, um, his associate, the Hatter, uh, was one of the two that had to be, one of the ones that had, were gonna be in there. Those were the ones I was really expect thinking. Mr. British Court. So, how did you find our first taste of the county's count Supreme Court? Oh, well, um, I don't know. I mean, it was wow. Master, not only means the whole experience was death in the solemnity for Great Britain's history. It really, it really was a world apart from the RL jurisdiction system in Japan, which is only a few short decades old. Wow, Suzato so has to. Has a way with words. Yeah, she does. And yours have been, seem to have been failing to find the right ones. Oof. Jurisdictional system here is the most advanced in the world. Learn from all you can. Yes, sir. That's the most advanced in the world, is it? It is, was fortunate that your very first trial was a simple affair. Simple? That was simple? Uh, I want to call that simple. I believe I mentioned that earlier, yes sir, it was a trial that you couldn't lose. I don't mean the contrary, be contrary, but the case was anything but simple. The circumstances of the case were so incriminating, I was stunned when I first heard them. In fact, I'm still finding it hard to believe that we managed to get a favorable verdict. <laughs> Is something fine? No, no. My apologies. However, the fact is that you did receive a the not guilty verdict. You set out to achieve. And that could only be obtained, attributed to an exceptional talent, that wouldn't you agree? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, well, never mind. You exceed my expectations, I freely admit. That much, I let, at least, is an undeniable truth. Which is precisely I have prepared a, a new case for you, I mentioned before. What's going on? What is he saying? What was he saying before? New case. Can perhaps give us more details about the case you mentioned? New case mentioned. Oh, don't tell me it's another. It's a murderer, and the trial starts in ten minutes. Don't worry, it's nothing alarming, quite or quite so urgent as the last day of assignment. In fact, the case is completely different. Oh, I see. Then he just received read my mind. Think that is to say. No one is dead yet, as of yet, as yet. And the trial will not be today. There's plenty of time to research the case thoroughly. 23 hours, 14 minutes, and 19 seconds to be precise. So basically, one you have one day of investigation. Huh. Uh, so the trial is tomorrow then. Is everything alright? Oh, yes. I'm just a little confused, that's all. Yesterday's trial was... Well... It's left me wondering... I'm really cut out for being a lawyer. Oh, Mr. I don't know if I'm facing the guy courtroom again after Mr. Gallo's trial. Ah, uh, yes. I nearly forgot. There's one similarity with yesterday's case. Once again, there is a currently no advocate for the defense. Oh, in this, if the situation remains unchanged to tomorrow's defendant will be unprecedented. And if that happens, I need a reminder of the inevitable outcome. The most terrible end. A waste for the defense. Yes, that's right. Uh, here we go again. So what is it this time? 
time's, your time's up. If you have to, excuse me. I would advise you begin making preparation for tomorrow's straw. After all, the clock is ticking. Now, there is now about 24 hours, 6 minutes, and 39 seconds. Until court sits. Last time he mentioned when there was plenty of time. There is one more thing, Mr. Naruto. There's something I'd like you to ask. Oh, um, what's that? Yesterday, you remarked upon something. <clears throat> that your intent to see it through. Tend to see the trial. Tend to see through the will of your late compatriot, Mr. Sony. I would be interested to hear what exactly mean by that. Inside, it said, oh well, I don't know what I'm As how, as he's gone. Oh. Another thing, continue. There's, he said something to me. There's so much important I have to do. Something very important, and what exactly? He, he never had a chance to tell me. I was uh, supposed to, he would have done if he had a time. Thank you for your example. I meant to say, Mr. what was that about? So he never once mentioned any sorts to me. I urge you both to focus on your attention on the matter at hand. I've taken the liberty of summoning the police inspector in charge of the case. He'll be able to praise you hard in uh, the details. Uh, how long he's been there? So if you wish to be, I wish you the best of luck and thank you for that. <sighs> There's something very important I have to do. This is my son. And what do you mean? I wish I knew, but honestly, he never told me. Anyway, we have better talk to the detective, don't you think? Yes, you're right. I hope I'm just imagining it, but I wouldn't say he looks pleased to see us at all. Um, can we have... Could we talk to him? What do you think? Uh... Alright, well, lovely weather, isn't it? What, what's this, what's the weather got to do with anything? Ah, uh, listen to me, young guy. Sorry. Some trickery about the weather ain't, doesn't get every English gent out of your hands. You know, uh, my son told me about the endless folder. I'm a busy man, a very busy man. The crime scene investigation. But I haven't, I'm here having a give a like to a talk. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you imagine what the other office will do? What do you say? Right. Son. No. And this guy's colorful. So, uh, all because of some bunk in here. Here, who? On a jaunt I'm from the country, I've never seen it before. Here, I've been taking a yard to. There's neither, neither a reference apart at all. I don't believe we have been introduced. But this is Mario Murasaki, a defense lawyer. Huh? I'm a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Mr. Novicius Susan. Huh? I love him. It's unusually fine, I grant you. In London's winter don't see the sun a lot. Um, believe it. How did he pull, did he pull that out? So, well, Stronghold asked me to fill you in about the case. Thanks. The name survives breaks. It's an Grayson to you. Ooh, 
I'm from Scotland, Yard. Right. Gregson? Um, uh, Inspector Gregson? Does the detective's name mean something to her? Inspector Gregson. Inspector Gregson, are you perhaps the Inspector Gregson? Oh, what? Hi. This guy. You're acting like you're the man who was so mono, but he said mono to the test. Oh, I do know him. In fact, well, in fact, very well. Yes, he's a teacher and a bomb and all of that. Oh, that, is that publication, what it's called again, the Random Random Magazine? Oh, right, is that the Racing and so it's finally Ryroy. Really, you, uh, that's good. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Mr. Sholmes isn't professional like myself. Of course, but he does come up with some good, um, come up with a good time, good, with good from time to time. Mr. Sholmes is a big leader, isn't he? He learned he, the highest price. Grayson can't, it's a big of a lot of Oh! <laughs> okay, that hurt. That's highest praise. Oh, that's a Psalms isn't particular now for giving up. He's not, that he's not, and he, thanks to that magazine, my name's also known all the world now now. Oh, that's great, isn't it? I have to admit, to start until I was a little, well, flustered by all the tension. Well, anyone, anyone, everyone wanted to shake my hand, and my reputation um, went through the roof. Ooh. Well, that's wonderful. No, it's not. There's absolutely nothing sinister with that that man. Oh, more sinister than that man on the street. People are always looking at me like he, they're whispering rumors about me under my breath. Rumors? Are you quite sure? He's changed since he started appearing in those stories. The fame goes to his head, stuff like that. Oh gosh, you do you really think people say that? And like I said, dark they whispers so I can't exactly um what what I do no folk like that. Are you sure? Sure as an egg is an egg. I get the feeling that this detective could be very hard work. Oh dear, perhaps sudden rays of fame doesn't change people. You don't say. Well, um, about that case, the case the Lord Chief Judge just mentioned. Oh, not getting to tell you really. As far as it's concerned, the yard. It couldn't be any simple. It can be simpler. Oh, it's following me. That following me. As far as we were concerned, as the words, it couldn't be more complicated. I wish you were wrong about that, but I have a nasty feeling that you're right. A young woman walking on the pavement on the Briar Road, on Briar Road, when she was stabbed from behind. Fortunately, it wasn't fatal, but. She laid up in the hospital unconscious. That's despicable. What sort of coward would attack a poor woman from behind? I suppose you ha would have finished whatever or was off with Mrs. Otto takedown, would you? Oof. Ah, uh, that's neither here nor there, Mr. Norris. Praise yourself, Nozaki. You finger her now. Oof. Anyway, after saying. Something of a world of his case, and the criminal was arrested. He barely had a cup of tea after the incident took place, to be honest. So there must have been something left at the scene that led you to the, the culprit. Or perhaps a reliable witness who recognized the person in question? Well, let's stop right there. You're wasting your time on this one. Alright? There's nothing you can do. There's no way you can help the bloke. Well, why not? Simple. The prosecutor having assigned for trial is Lord Von Fazite. Of course. No. 
Sounds like you've heard of him. Oh, yes, we were familiar with Zyke, Mr. Zykes. Believe it or not, the death itself. Reaper of Bailey. The Reaper of Bailey. Or Von Zykes. We based in court only yesterday. Mr. Gilded was about told us about him during the trial, before the trial, didn't he? When Von Zykes stands prosecution, they accuse is the sacrificial limbs. And every single trial in which he's been, the prosecutor er, er, cursed he cursed me to him. He's been him. The Reaper of the Bailey hit me. I suppose he earned it because of every defendant advocate against him guilty, isn't it? Well, if that's the case, we should inform you, Inspector, that yesterday's trial of Lombard's site, and Mr. Narda found the net was secured or not. Huh. Uh, what Oh, well, um, uh, I think. I mean, that means we. It's impossible to save the defendant. No, you really don't have a clue, do you? What do you mean? What happened to the bloke in the end? Eh, he said, huh. As McGill came, propped up the good ominous and went up flame. Well, you can't rightly say, say you saved the defendant, you can't. What, what are you saying? Look, if one song want, uh, gets the dirty, uh, get the dirty, Start to stick to on everyone, he's a miracle worker. But that's not how it goes. He doesn't work miracles, he works magic, black magic. I have good of a good long thing about that if you work. Alright. We're supposed to believe that. Right. Well, I filled you in on the request. I'm very nearly out of chips. I'll be heading back to the crime scene now. We're still carrying on at the university. I w it was I said, don't you where the incident took place? That's correct, ma'am. And you if you head there to holding to the holding cell you'll meet the criminal so you're right you've branded him a criminal already. He's good as shaken like a leaf in his cell. He it it'll give you a good chuckle, if nothing else. He's Emmet Emmet fifty three. He's Emmet Emmet fifty three. Speak to the jailer and you'll you'll show you in a way. If Emmet fifty three, thank you. So there's no helping anyone against the Reaper of the Bailey, they say. Is something troubling you, Mr. Narda? To tell the truth, if he, if I recall yesterday's show, I can't help stopping so in front of himself and shaking. The idea of facing the Reaper in court again is... Well, if you're thinking too much, there's no shame in turning the case down. Take courage, that takes courage too. If the man is arrested is innocent, you could imagine he would be shaking like a leaf in his cell. And I, for one, wouldn't be found find, to find a sight and ain't that funny. So, and honest, I'm willing to, um, uh, from the shock of, shock of yesterday's events myself, but I'm really sure if I'll be able to uh, help this man, whoever he is. I like to try. Hey, I'm sure I'm going to make sh uh, some um, inquiries if you want. You'll help. You will help. Do you really think he had to ask? After all, I'm interested in soul six. Thank you. Well then, shall we? Yes. Let's go. Head to the prison first. We are um, our client. I think February local prison cell nine. 
Oh, this is where the bird is first. This, these are the bird is first themselves. Oh, they're ghastly. It feels like a dungeon. Yes, I'm and having the experience to jump in, in Japan myself. I can assure you, the wooden cells are a lot cozier than these cold stone walls. Oh, don't listen. You're making it even you know, worse. Uh, apparently, our client is in the cell here. So it's so dark that I can barely make him out. Oh, what am I running? Yeah. Yeah, you're looking for some to are here to see you. Stop hiding at the back of your cell and show your face at once. Am I? Am I a cat? As a yet, a um, cat yet with no name. Calling me by a number is utterly unbelievable, unjustly, unreasonable. I refuse to answer. I said, no, no, what? What do you think is going on here? I have no idea, but I was just hearing things, was I? The tire, that tire of the complaint was in Japanese. Excuse me. Quiet. They're all around us, hiding. I know they are. They're watching, listening. Even now, I can't sense it. Yes. All right. So, could I ask you who you are? You could have cursed kind of curse me. I haven't. A ghost. You mean you have no harm, Professor Son, are you? A Japanese by any chance? This is. This is. Beyond my wildest dreams. Neat. Again, for my last outburst, I'm so sorry. Oh, is that fi it's fine? We we're just sent fires. That's all. Imagine it. It's been 12 long months since I had left my hometown, and here I am in a frightful fix of foreign land. So, hearing the sweet emotional tones of the compatriots' voice, hearing the damp, dark oh, hellhole, it was a most Moment. Yeah, I can see what they, they expect or mean by that, what he said earlier. Good, that, I could have guessed our new client, uh, Larson. What's his name? What? He turned out to be a fellow Japanese. Oh. What compassion my fellow port, man, port, man, port countryman show. To this vast of first class lawyer, all the way from Japan, to defend my wife. Oh, well, no. Okay, I can barely even say most of it, said, but I'm gonna like this guy. <laughs> uh, a first lawyer? Oh dear, I think there's been something misunderstood. I wonder, would you be so kind to tell us what happened? Why have you been determined to detain as a substance? Yes, yes, I can, I will. Say solely silent. Solely in silent. Uh, I'm not quite sure I understand what that means, but he seems happy. Yes, he does. I hope this is he's actually a good reason to be. Thank you for cooperating. I'm a lawyer, as my name is Ryosaki Naruto. And I'm Naruto's assistant in the jurisdiction of Sasoda Makabata. I am. A visiting student here uh, on, a, on a government, nearby our government. No, really, not just the name, not so nice. Sasaki, Sasaki, Natsumi, Natsumi, Natsumi. Okay, Natsumi is the only one that can get his name right. So let's go by Mr. Natsumi. And like every other person. Yes, yes. That's the one of the greatest emperor 
Sparks, 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 with me, so of course you can stand by myself. You'll defend me. Oh no, sorry. That wasn't why I was showing it to you. There's the why else you show me that. Oops. In hindsight, that's probably wasn't the best idea. And you wonder where everybody gets this uh gets that running joke. <laughs> Guess what not to me. So Son, so Sumi Son, was that what a useful name? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm gonna good luck saying that. I'm a poet, you see, a writer of, ha of haiku. Ooh, something of oh, uh, it's something of not nom de plume. Nom de plume? You mean an alias? That's right, now we're the son. No, 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 don't be poet. Plastic. It's more refined than that. And and haiku really means um, reminds me of home. Did you hear that? You're visiting. Did you? I did. I you say you're visiting sent here by the government? Yes, yes, that's right. A year ago, I was told uh, to go and study English. First, I had to suffer that misery, and now this. Yes. It's beyond the pale. Sulfur, the mess of that misery. Do you want, I want to say you? No, I mean, I had an, in had an interest in what for some years to come. Of course. Oh. But. Just because the government tells you to do something, it means you can't do it, no? What do you mean? They told me to study English that I could learn. I could have understood. That's my deal. But no, they told me to study English the English language. Utterly unbelievable, unjust, unreasonable. Nothing's wrong with it. I see. Only the other day I was told I was uh, sent to report about my first year here. I tender er a blank piece of paper. Why? Words? White on white? Wash? Okay, I'm not gonna. Hope I don't get offended anybody on that. Must be the man of great standing. Oh yes, that's all I'm often told. And often like, often like to be told it seems. Accusations against you. Could you perhaps tell us exactly why you were arrested, um, Sozaki-san? I didn't do it. I didn't commit any of the choices you had a murder. No, 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 it's alright. The woman didn't actually die, did she? But she was stabbed with a knife, right before my eyes. Before your eyes, you mean you saw the attacker? I didn't see anyone. What? I didn't see the person who did it. Do you think I lock locked down in here? Oh dear, it seems the case is becoming very com rather complicated. You don't say! Why me? Why me? Why did this uh, that silly woman have to be stabbed in front of me? But of course, the curse of London, it's incredibly inaccusable and really inconvenient. So Sasaki-san was at the scene, but he didn't see the attacker. It's a vital, it's vital that we learn more, find out more about the case. <sighs> about the case. So it was, it was an accused of cursed evening, and after the snow had started to clear, and a heavy fog, it was heavy fog. I've been to the bookshop to buy some books, I was on my way to back to the, the curse of the So, sure, the bookshop wasn't a curse too. As I was walking in the curse pavement, I could make a soul silhouette of another ahead of me, a woman wearing green overcoat. She was just, she was just, as, as I went to overtake her, 
as she suddenly let out a scream and collapsed onto the cold, hard slab of stone on my feet. Oh boy. How terrible. I called the woman, but she didn't move. On the woman. It was like a ghostly Laura's grim graveyard. A sight of exaggeration, though, there for me. I, te I was terrified. I had to get away from it. I ran as hard as my legs again to get back to your girl's life. If you had not done that, you probably would have. That's not good. You could, they'll, they'll say that it was shameful. I know to run away like that. You know if you went to get the police, um, you would have, um. Tell me, sasaki san was the victim an acquaintance of yours? I don't be ridiculous. Do I? Do you think I? Anyone erred of English? No. And the young one with that? I definitely shy, timid, and unsure. I can't talk to people. I see a young woman unknown to Suzaki san And at the time it happened, who else do you think is seen nearby? Did anybody else pass you? Regardless, apart from myself and the woman, I didn't see a soul. No one. Oh, great. The, the victim was unknown to you. And there was nobody else on the streets at the time. That creates it's something of a conundrum, doesn't it? Huh? What a conundrum? Conundrum. What do you mean, Suzaku san What the conundrum? What's a conundrum? What if Suzaku san was told us the truth? There's something I can't explain. He says he didn't know the victim and that there's no one else at the scene. Then apparently, he apparently fled and fled behind the scene there. I did, I did. But that's, that's the case. Certainly the management has to be the culprit. This man has to be. Ah, you. What did you say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Oops, perhaps I said that a little too loudly. Actually, that was not, that, not what Trump was troubling me. But I was thinking, how did Sasaki san actually come to be come to be arrested? Sorry. He didn't touch the victim and there was nobody at the scene to see him. So how did the police ever discover he was there in the first place? Oh yes, she's right. It it was him. That accursed great detective. Uh, he led the police to me. Of all, of all the bad luck. Oh, curse, great detective. Yeah, could be. Yep, it's, I should never forget that man's long name as long as I live. His high, high laugh and self-proclaimed greatness. British, I've had busy boy. Hey, Carla Hall. Yeah, hi. Yeah. I knew it. Uh, it's good to see him again. It's Sir Solmes. It's Sir Solmes. Oh, I didn't expect to hear that name again. Oh, from the man. Uh, from this man's lips, so I'm sure. That's for sure. I, it was the morning after the nightmare, as I told, on the pavement before me. I was gnawing on the silver hard cheese for some men when some men suddenly burst through the door. They startled me and this police put, put the weapon down. But yeah, silver. Yes, it was a dead silver, but it was hard uh, hard. I wasn't eating a weapon. Disgusting. They discriminated. You clearly had, uh -huh, trying the morning yesterday. You had tried the morning. Had a trying morning yesterday. And there I was in the middle of the policeman, grinning like a, a shardy scout. That Harlock Holmes. It was a actually Harlock Holmes. Easy English. It since. I said, well, he's a famous detective here in London. Yes, a great detective is really no. 
and his overlap sharp mind managed to deduce my whereabouts. He thinks I'm a nice, willing man, man. Me, this weak, soft kitten of a man. And I wonder what great deduct deduction proceeds to lead him to this conclusion. I'm do you mean to say that Mr. Storm's deductions are the only reason why the police elected you? That would be really most uncomfortable. Uh, well, um, the thing is, I was drawn into a panic when they charged me in a way. Oh, yes, you were. The only, that's only natural. I was terrified, trembling, and they kept throwing questions after questions it's a pos in a possible English. Well, we're in England. You can't really blame them for questioning in English. Good point, good point. But my mind went blank. I knew I had to answer, but I didn't know what to say. Just kept repeating, like, as I do, I'm fine. Had a um, 
had an old acquaintance of my grandmother's. Yes. So the next thing I knew, I was in, ma in a manacle in manacles. And before I knew it, I was on here. Oh dear, I'm afraid that's hardly surprising. I'm fine. He's not fine now. So I was asking. Oh, you can just call me my Sonardo. Sonardo. Oh, uh, we're here speaking English in a sim. Uh, a sim. If we, we're speaking English, a simple uh, Mister is more. And uh, oh yes. Um. All right. And what we really got to do this contract is poisoning my mind. But please, I beg you to defend me in court tomorrow. You can't tell that I'm re what really happened. You do, you'll do it, won't you? Well, why, why? It's hard to tell me yet. Well, the thing is, I'm just a studying student like yourself so on the story tour. A student. I have defended a case in the old Barley. Only one though. But this moment in time, I really don't know what I'm supposed to believe in. I'm confused about what justice is in this court country he even means. Even means. Oh no, Rudy son. I'm not even foreigner son. And the foreign student who was supposed to be in here. I'm sort of a, a low come oh, I'm a lawyer, I suppose. I'm a modern man. That mark is a fence lawyer is a great man. Is a keepsake from a man who should have been here. He's my best friend. A uh, keepsake. I know exactly what they're saying about me. Oh, well, how do you know? What do you mean? A lawyer. Here. The lawyers and the, all the British defense lawyers won't. They won't defend me. Goodness. Why? Why do you say that? For the same reason you noted before, when it happened. There was only a victim and myself, and I ran from the scene of the crime. I'm not a fool. I know I must be the culprit. It's best to be very hard for you, Mr. Sorison. Anyway, I'm a student from overseas. I'm just a foreign nobody to know. Someone not to be trusted. I heard a woman laugh at me before in earshot without any confusion at all. Adding trial for this man that was a waste of time, they say, or because, of course, the foreigner did it. <sighs> it's hard to say. Damon Gallat say that man doesn't understand half of what is being said anyway. Oh boy, that is definitely some racism right there, folks. That's awful. They're wrong. I'm studying. And more than half of the police English than half the policemen of the street. I travel halfway around the world to learn about this beautiful country and their great history. It's great history. But no one here wants to listen to a man strange man's acts that they hate all they hate. So at the very least, I'd like to trust my faith to someone who can listen to my native tongue. You could do it, you could do it. When I looked in your eyes, I could see it. You can see it through and through. Soccer son, it's just that. Give me a little time, please. Huh? I'll do what I can. Just for the time being. For the time being. What do you mean? We shall investigate the case thoroughly as possible. If we find some clues, they'll give us much more better chance to all see it. I'm sure. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I'll be here alone waiting for you. We will begin. We should begin going. going. Well, will be the case. Okay, case prepare for you. Ugh. This hurts. Off the bar on the road. Wire road. Wow. 
So this is what it happened by a road. Oh look, it's a look at the matter of the sun. Look at the regulation metal helmets. It's unmistakable. So you know, it's got you out here investigation of his feet. That's their job, you know. What about metal sun? See with your own eyes. Often it's like an adventure of a star alone, but I never dreamed of seeing them with us. Uh, the problem but the helmet. <laughs> of course, I have to try one day. Well, I hope your ulti dream comes true. Oh, detective. This isn't the tourist trail. I'm not sure you're aware. Yeah, so of course. We're here to investigate. So you've been hiding to the holding cell. What do you think of the criminal? He's not a criminal. You're a part. You're, he's a suspect. Well, well. We'll see about that. You just... Uh, well, do what you will. It doesn't bother me. The blokes in the court tomorrow, whatever happened, uh, the verdict as a foreign is, is a foregone conclusion. <sighs> Take heart, London in this time of year is full of stone cold air. That's what makes it worse now. Scotland Yard. Tell me about the Scotland Yard inspectors. First is a guy that's been fascinated by the police. The Yard is most of a sophisticated police and organization you will find anywhere in the world, man. Oh, I've always dreamt of wearing a real Bobby head. It doesn't make them look the part seeing the policemen there with helmets on. You certainly got the sense that the, these, this is a man who will take nonsense, those nonsense, and duty to protect the city. Oh yes, that doesn't look, he doesn't, he look wonderful. Uh, being Bobby, as Bobby is hard going, and I can tell you. Oh really? First thing in the morning, you know what he does. Goes around rousing all the laborers or on his feet eat so to get off to get off to work. But he wakes up people. Yup. Wraps them in the widows in a long pole. Do it I did it myself going back a bit. I had no idea. Bobby he worked for the people in the town. It's just another one of his duties. After that, he started tirelessly patrolling the streets all day long. He's cover—he was covering 20 miles a day. This is regulation for distance. I can't really imagine how far, but it sounds like the long way. Let me see. 20 miles, that's approximately the distance from Tokyo to Yo- Come on, hold on. On foot, on foot, that's definitely taking steps too far. And when it gets dark, of course, he has an important job lighting the, all the gas of the street lamps. Oh my, I suppose a different in between all these cities, probably are expected to investigate cases as well. I hate it's and chase criminals after an evade the law. I'm not sure you could call it in between exactly, or alongside, but yes. They're expecting to handle their jobs well. We do make uh, men kneeling over from time to time, time, time moment. <sighs> I always dreamt of wearing one of those helmets, as I said. But it's very heavy heart. That is, uh, I have to relinquish that dream to you, man. Your heavy heart, you may be heavy head. 
Maybe heavy hand if you do. Oh. About the case. It happens in the five of the evening, two days ago, just here on that open pavement. Better pavement. Definitely the one was stopped with the blade from behind. It's right after the lady fell unconscious. You, you mentioned she was being treated at the hospital. I never said she was a lady. Who says, unless she comes around pretty smart, smartish, we won't be able to find much about her at all. I suppose that means we haven't, they haven't been able to take a statement from her, of course. Here's a map of the local area. I happen to have an on me. You can take it if you want. Really? Are you sure? It's a yard police to give a lawyer or defendant suspect. Or defendant suspect that's the odd bit of information to go on. I haven't actually accepted it yet, but yet still. Thank you, Inspector. You're gladly excited. Anyway, let's look at that. Anyway, as far as we know, there is no one else in the scene other than the victim your fellow informer. So how do you think? Mean, no such hard head scratcher is it? Oh, I know Mr. Nelson is claiming not to have seen anyone around, but that's because he didn't see anyone. It doesn't mean we can't sure nobody else was present. Yeah, I'm sorry to have to tell you, but most of us like can't be for sure. How go? Because, ma'am, the precise moment the salmon didn't go unnoticed. It what? We have two reliable witnesses, no less. Huh. It was a typical foggy one then, and your client obviously didn't see them. <sighs> there were witnesses now. Witnesses? Who are these witnesses, Inspector? A fellow and his wife, the man is one of the most reliable and respectful citizens of all London. He's a copper er, from Scotland Yard. So he's one of you guys' police. Ah! Uh, a policeman? That might change things. And this policeman just happened to be there exactly the moment the woman was attacked? Nothing particularly, ma'am, but the part for souls being Bobby, catching the bang in the act, act and all that. Uh, do you think that it may be possible to ask the policeman three questions? Be my guess, you can't ask him what, what you like in court tomorrow. Oh, I have no doubt he'll be summoned as a witness. That, that'll give you something to look forward to. That's that's that then. He's got no tensions of letting me meet the man beforehand, it seems. The policeman witnessed the incident. And your jurisdiction assistant, I must warn you that this could make our job more difficult to me. Yes, as a non jurisdictional assistant, I could have warned have warned me of that too. Oh yes, one more thing, Inspector. What? The person who led you to the suspect, her, her dad was Charlotte Holmes. What are you bringing him up for? What, something I said? I thought it was rain. Oh, of course. Morals Trump. That. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Goes to trial tomorrow. Are you going to defend him right Well, alright. Make no difference to me, but I will say this: no one a lawyer worth or salt to touch that case, but the bargain point. Oh, you mean there's no way to save him, the man? Now it's like wasting your time. Trying. It's already a bit strange, though. Sorry, the Reaper. He wasn't he hasn't appeared in court for a good some time in years now. Yes, he did hear that direct into the fact. And the only people who usually bother are are the real scum, master criminals, violent ones. Master criminals. 
Don't make a violent ones. That's right. He can't pick victims, his victims. Only deals with those guaranteed to go to the gallows or something. But Mr. Nogson wouldn't be hanged what what he's accused of sorely. That's my point, Sunshine. The young man was the woman was stabbed, but it didn't kill her. Couldn't even say the the intent was there. So, it isn't the sort of case I was expecting the Reaper to sink his teeth into. So, for a better phrase. Well, it's not exactly a minor in fact fraction, is it? No, there's gotta be more to it. Some reason he's ta taking it in an interest. Really? What sort of reason, Inspector? You think you can come and go tell you can tell what's going on inside the head of a Lord of Darkness? You got to ask them yourselves tomorrow, Strong. Are we really going to have to face the Reaver and the Lord of Darkness as he put? Mr. Solomon's Dissolve. Oh boy. How did you hear that that name from? Oh uh, well, um, it was Mr. Nava's son himself who mentioned it. He said that Mr. Solomon's was the police on the end of his lodge. I'm sure it was all in Mr. Solomon's school. Fiddle, 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 fowl. Oh, that man is an amateur, and I'm getting sick of tired of him showing at his mug everywhere. Oh, I don't know where he gets this information from, but he turns up at the scene of the crime. I'm wandering, wandering around, spouting inconclusive rubbish before you know it. He claims to have solved the case. Yes, he's quite astounding, isn't he? He's a great help for Scotland Yard, isn't he? Gravel 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 Ground. Oh. Ever since ever seen this before? Oh yes, that oh man it's it, man. Oh. Yes, well that wonderful publication yes you put it. It's included several yards detectives in his story. And it's all called detective makes a mockery of us. If you ask me. It's a misadventure, to be honest, including any Harlock's own cell. Well, I suppose there's an element to that. We work our socks off, every one of us, only to be fumped up by the public thinks an office detective. The man's as dangerous as us as Garland Yard. He has, he is as to us as he is to all our criminals. That can't really be true, can it, Inspector? Uh... Well... I don't know where I'm going with this one information. I don't know where it's... Is that not what Can I make a suggestion? Oh yes, what that, what's that? Well, it seems to me... And we must speak by him about this. By him, you, you mean, Mr. Solmes? Yes, Mr. Hollis Solmes, exactly. Look at the side of my eyes. Oh, Mr. Solmes. Did blame Mr. Solmes for all this. Yes, he did. He really did. Which makes me, makes him an evolved party in the case. Are you going to ignore that? I hope. I assure you. You know, that ain't that my self desires to meet Mrs. Holmes again. Oh, it all is. We have no idea. I mean, it's Baker Street. How did you know that? Stories, of course. 21B, Baker Street, the most famous address in the world. Oh, I see. Well, there's nothing to stop us from going, I suppose. Well, I'd rather try our way there before Susano gets more excited. I'm ready. Oh gosh, I don't wanna care. So we so we're here to have a re so we're our, so we're to have a reunion. Better go take Mr. Solmes. The location is added. Sounds is sweet.
Thank you very much. It's just up there overlooking the street. Good day. Thanks again. This is it. The residence of Mr. Herlock Schultz. Wow. There's ego. That's as big as his ego. <laughs> This is where the great detective makes his living. It feels surreal how some out here. This is describing the story of Mr. Sotano. Well, this by the um Cesaro song. Many, many famous cases have been solved in here. And it's very much Oh boy. Stories. It's hard to get quite excited about what she's been seeing to be. The doctor chases the villain relentlessly as he disappears in the fog down and on down and until one street. Oh, thrill, romanticism. Romanticism. Um, you can't, can't you feel the heart dropping to this? Can't you, Mr. Oh, I suppose I can, yes. If you don't mind, I'll just stand here and soak up the atmosphere for a long, long Please don't mind me. Uh, let's see, he's off to us. Of course. I'll, I'll look around. It looks like the detective is at home at the party. Excuse me, is anybody home? Oh, do we have a visit? Oh, you! Hello, it's a big new case. Hey, uh, for Mr. Song. Uh, hello. Wait, aren't you? Oh, how rude of me. I make sense of tea at once. She's the lady who. I'm sure it's the same girl. So, did you see that girl who was standing there? Oh, yes, isn't it truly extraordinary? I mean, to think that the king of, of Bohemia. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, king of a what? I, I'm gonna have a hard time speaking, saying that. Well, I'm drawing a blank. Forget the adventure song for a moment. Look over there. The thief of Ah, it's you. I knew it. I reckon it's everything. Yep, it's the girl from last case. Ah, there you are. Who had her items stolen. And taking that with you as well. I'm oh, looking forward to the trial run of experimentation on my software name on her. Here. One. I suppose. It's the girl who turned up at the end of Gilded's case, the defendant. I, I never met a lawyer from the Far East before. For you, having to get straight to the work only to arrive in London. Oh yes, it was a challenging question. Oh, I tried tea. It's special one, you know. Oh, thank you. Tea is the best look. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my, what a frank wind. Hooray, it's a winner. It's a tired one. The leaves designed the look of late fatigue, you see. You must be exhausted after a long voyage over here. I have another ticklish trial. Oh, and you are the defendant of I do wish you a lot of luck. Uh -huh. 
I'm so sorry to tell you about that by chance. Oh, you know her early, do you? Harley. Sons, Mr. Sons was a passenger on that board. Uh, on us, the Great Britain. Oh, oh, he really, was he really? I had no idea. Yeah. I'm afraid Hurley is out on an errand today. Even though he's returned from overseas. Wait a minute. We met this girl before over yesterday after the trial and only a brief outfit of that. Why on earth does she know so much about us? Did, did she do all these things? Perhaps a more point. Why is she here with Mr. Soul and Sweet? Oh, silly me. I've introduced myself, and I? How and I? Okay. It's a great pleasure to meet you both. My name is Iris Wilson. Mm. I've been living here. I live here together with Will Harley. Ah, Iris is it. The loving name. What's the matter? Oh, wait. Oh, this can't be. Did you see your name? You say your name is Wilson? Yes, that's right. Are you? Oh, oh. I'm not the son of a lawyer. I'm the lawyer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I miss it. Lovely, Sue. So, so oh no. Got it. Uh, oh, she loves to make the Susie. And you know? And there's more of this girl than me to get. It's quite a question. I have so many questions for her. I don't know where to start. Yeah. So let's do Now, first things first. Blackboard, you know. Um, oh, interesting. Let's see. Black Peter. What does that mean? Don't you want to hear what I was going to say? Of course, I'll come back to the Blackboard later. we ran to yesterday at the Old Bailey. Yes, that's right. You were so helpful. Thank you so much. Oh no, not at all. We were, couldn't have been more welcoming. Not the time we had a rather large gun pointed at us. Like this? Uh, uh, ooh. Uh, think you're back now? No. Oh. You left me oh Miss Lester in tow, didn't you? Oh yes. That awkward witness, oh what's Grant Vina Lost name? A stern name. Oh me? She's a professional she's a professional gentleman. So we found out it was very naughty of her to pick my invention like that. Are you referring to the trial disrupting gun and uh, uh, like contraction, exactly. So I follow her, you see, to get it back. Hmm, perhaps I should be filing a self destruct mechanism on my back. That girl is dangerous. You don't say! Anyway, I brought Granny back over here. She could, so she could apologize to my trust party. And the technician could So you're the your technician? Or you're. Hurley, of course, silly. It's Hurley. He's the one who made it? Yeah, it's Hurley Holmes. Hurley Holmes. We lived together. I had no idea the great detective had such an uninteresting daughter. Young daughter. daughter? No, not likely. What? I want to call Hurley was my father one night. Ah, uh, uh, well, then, what's your relationship with Mr. Jones? Well, I expect you found out the lobbying of any London are very expensive. The solution is to share the cost of the part with the partner and a roommate. Okay, that makes sense. 
You're a room your roommate. I hope you don't mind us asking ours, but how old are you? Ten at least at last then at last last year. She's ten? Well, what of your mother and father? Uh, oh no. They're not around. Oh, I see. I wonder what happened to the story there. Wilson? Oh yes, there's something I want to ask you. Of course, of course. Go ahead, see. I never thought Oh, you have a copy of mine in the mind? Yes, I've read every issue. It's delivered in every way. Oh, this is a sign. My story are being read out of the side of the world. My stories. That's right. Hurley's always solving such amazing cases. And he tells me about them. They're really quite fascinating. But it'd be such a shame if I was the only one who ever heard them. I mean, goodness. So she saw her last night. She was telling me about the new case. I just saw them in the steamboat ship. Seems to have traveling in the faraway land. That was in the middle of typing the manuscript for the next answer before you came. So you you were an author. Already an author. Yes, that is correct. I, I, I'm going to call the latest adventure the Speckled Band. The Speckled Band, that's certainly very familiar. Well, of course, it changed a few details here and I'm sorry here. At the time, I was making a venomous snake. I had the idea of causing trouble. Oh, that was such a song thought as well, actually. Yes, and of course, I know the snake might not be credible to fit the facts of the case exactly, but it's a story so what it just says it makes a thrilling document. You know, so, do you mean to say that our stories are probably around this magazine? A random I mean, yes, uh, my wonderful, very modern typewriter. But, but all the stories have been re I've been read. Written by a doctor of medicine, Mr. John Wilson. I'm married. This is awesome, it's getting more and more though. Ah, uh, yes, that's me. I mean, that's... The, my name really is Wilson. But, the man of the doctor of medicine part. That's all, that's all true. I am a doctor of medicine. No, a ten-year-old? A ten-year-old? Ten, a ten-year-old? Well, that's quite incredible. But, but, but... What well, is an English element? Ah, uh, yes. I did... After our setting the sights of the stories to be more compelling. Oh! Well, it sounds strange, doesn't it? A great detective with a ten-year-old in tow. I... I suppose it does. Duh. Oh. Or, uh, <laughs> she looks like the whole world is just getting falling apart. Yeah, I don't say. The abduction just now. Oh, you're four. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What am I running off of dirty tummy? How do you know that we're, I was a lawyer and we just arrived in London? Yes! Oh, then I had a difficult trial. And now we had a difficult trial. How do you know all that? Oh, that... What is yeah, tell us. How do you explain this? <sighs> of course. I like it, although there's really no mystery. Now, let's begin. Iris Wilson is probably the biggest. <laughs> oh, what? First of all, I already knew you were a lawyer right now. I'm wrong. I met you yesterday in the old Riley and you defended the same chamber. But you said you only arrived at one. We arrived. How do you know that? Obviously, a passport and a traveling ticket for trading from your press pocket. Oof. <laughs> 
so they was reasonably confident that you must have only just arrived in the country. And on top of that, the outfit. Your your step is a case against a particular prosecutor. Tell me you're unaware of the London's court affair. Uh, the Reaper of Barley. I walked right into that one, didn't I? Yes. And the red ink stamp on the back of Susie's hand. You were given that when you visited the local prison uh, to meet the suspect, weren't you, earlier? Uh, they used this, those stamps to close, keep a close eye on coming and going, you see. Oh, I didn't realize. And the red stamp is only used for visitors uh, visiting foreign, inmate, foreign inmates. Alright, so it's only everything you had yesterday, included the trial of against McGilvin. The two of you were already came through the foreign country to visit a foreign inmate at a local prison. However, neither of you were wearing a particular sad expression on in conclusion, the prisoner was unlikely a friend or relative. At least later, you must have moved up in the case. I see. I'll get rid of the trials tomorrow. Well, having been home for a few hours yesterday, home saw the number of the cases. I was at Ralph's house. He told me that he caught on the Japanese man who was falling and he traveling. The Japanese man was uh, clearly funny. It's an awesome name. Oh, Bruno. That's a fancy Japanese sword. And I think that Alpha's called a Bruno. Uh, anyway, the clues of what you from to pay yourself. But I put two together and decided there must be a defending a Japanese man Harley caught. And there's only the clues in the back that lead to. There you go, King. We're gonna ask everything about the case. Oh boy. There's a note on the man. And uh, the mantelpiece that says that the man's trial is tomorrow. I'll uh, hardly stabbing his nose uh, with his wife. His nose was a knight. You were, you know, was he a silly. And that's just really was it, isn't it? You really, you really seen Iris Wilson, and that was one of the great, one of the great. Oh, uh, was it a winner? Well, my they were spot on. That was amazing, Iris. I chose a great deduction. You managed a certain, you managed a certain of the lottery. Oh, well, well, coffee, or the style. Oh. That's really great news. You could tell us about the case of all my Japanese men, if you will, not honest, please. Yes. The case on the Japanese man. Yes, sir, Mr. Solomon's up for handing the Japanese man, you were saying. And yes, early same voyage after the second. But the police were waiting for him to, on the railway station to take him directly to the crime scene. Ah, great detective, popular, is popular man, it seems. Apparently, the woman was stabbed quite on the street somewhere in town. There was witness. There were witnesses who had seen a short, in a short, shifty uh, looking uh, man. Oh, oh boy! Let's assume you beyond a doubt. Me doubt. But it's all. I hardly use great detective to determine the man's address. It was a lodging room nearby. He went directly there to the police and they find him. A short love man, stupid man, shivering in fear. Uh, Mr. Holmes, we did have some kids in the market. So, still, this means the man, the incident occurred only two days ago. So, really, tomorrow soon for a trial, isn't it? Sure, definitely. We have no time 
to investigate properly. Hurley says the lemons ruffle a crime. Oh, Scotland Yard is doing as best as they can, but to stop to stay on top of it, uh, it apparently. Oh dear, I hadn't realized the situation was so dire. That is why they couldn't afford to spend too much time investigating cases and trying criminal to find criminals in the court. Stiff money, staff and money are both short. Crimes are usually pinned on the first per suspicious person. That's terrible. I suppose it's really harsh of working with the world's greatest justice. I suppose it is. But in that case, I don't have full the mess of both of Thank you for answering the questions, Russ. Oh, you're Russ, Russ? Oh. It happens. Oh. I guess I also like to ask him some questions, Russ. Well, as well. Oh, well. I suppose Hurley is still investigating the scene. Ah, of a case of all Mr. Nixon meeting me. Yes, I said not. Oh, my. Hurley said he was going to the man's lodgings. You leave now, but you probably catch him there. Alright, Steve. Alright, well, I imagine the police are still investigating the scene of the crime themselves, aren't they? Do you happen to come across the detective named Brightson? And right there? Yes, he's a Japanese actor, Brightson. Oh good, oh goody, in that case, get ready to read this from, from me, Go, would you? If you do that, I'm sure he'll tell you what you want to know. <sighs> what is this? I find Sheldon P's postcard, it, it seems. Tell the gentleman in the black whatever he wants. No, I trust that won't be a problem. Oh, gosh. Uh, that will make this factor help us, will it? Oh, thank you, Iris. We'll give it a try. <sighs> Look, then, I'm starting to return to my writing the manuscript of the Speckled Man. And I'll be making more Speckled Man tea. That's all one tea, so come back again. It'll be delightful. Thanks. Oh, so is ours. Yes. Oh, then we're going to back to the scene of the crime. Oh, So, so much to do because they would exert any influence over a man. Oh. We headed back to the scene of crime. Iris made a curious note, one of the world's heaviest silver coins in hand. Alright, I guess this will be a good time to call it a um, stream. That's good part one already. Uh, we still got a little bit of um, ways to go. Oh, alright guys, um, I'm probably gonna call it a night, night, um, I'll definitely be streaming tomorrow, oh, um, some point tomorrow after work, or some point tomorrow in the evening, with that said, I'm Mgl3, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, catch you guys next time.